Oh shit, it's been ages since I've played this awesome game. Uh, I would have to say, I haven't touched this game since last January. That's how long I haven't played this game. Why? I don't know. It's just that I have a lot of games and that's what happens um, when you're a video game and you're owned by me. I play with you for maybe like a good three days and then I play another game. I don't know. I just, that's just how I am. I'm a multi-gamer. But um, I have a lot of hack and slash games in particularly, but that's probably the main reason why I stopped playing this game because I, I have other hack and slash games and other awesome games to play. So. But <coughs> since um, I just got a Wii U and I grabbed the last copy of Royal Rachi 3 Hyper uh, for the Wii U, um, this that game. Uh, basically made me decide to play this game again because I do miss playing this game um, there are some differences between this game and Dynasty Warrior games uh, I wish Capcom actually took some effort into porting this game over to the States uh, you know like what happened to One Piece um, One Piece got ported over it but you know they still had Japanese voices but they translated the uh, text in English I wish that would they would do the same thing with this game and I know One Piece is not by Capcom but you see what I'm saying right that's what they should do Capcom should actually uh, just keep the voices Japanese and translate the words to English and port this over to the States and I guarantee you a lot of us will buy it and play it but they won't do that so <laughs> it's you know it's Capcom they always hold back good games um, that's just how they are but um, oh well we just have to deal with the Japanese text I guess it doesn't bother me much but um, it only bothers me when I want to actually make my character uh, extremely strong in battle like give him special items but um, in this video, I'm just, I'm not even going to bother with these uh, special items. I'm just going to strengthen him up, max his strength out. And that's what I did. I got, the, like, all my characters have the gold weapons. I'm playing this on the Wii, by the way. So, <clears throat> yeah. The quality still looks good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you can get this game on the Wii. You can get this game on the PS3. Uh, PS3 does have a little bit better quality than the Wii U version, but generally they're still the same game, so it doesn't make a difference at all. It's not like um, Samurai Warriors 3 on the Wii, which was, it had terrible graphics. Um, I had it on the Wii, I was like, oh my god, I'm not playing this game anymore, because it's just so bad. But um, this game is definitely... Uh, Definitely awesome on the Wii. I'm actually surprised this game made it to the Wii. It didn't make it to Xbox or anything. That's kind of weird. Um, so, like I said, I haven't played this game in like in January. Now, that's like wow, back. That's wow. That's like last winter, and we're already getting into the next winter. So I mean, that's yeah, that is. A very long time. I have not played this game since then. But um, I'm back in some hack and slash. My hack and slash mode, I guess, because I'm playing Boys of Ratchet 3 all over again on the Wii U. I have that game on three consoles now. I have it on the PS3, I have it on the Xbox 360, and now I have it on the freaking Wii U. It's kind of ironic because Warriors of Raichi 3, and I have three copies of this game. <laughs> um, but yeah, that game um, inspired me to play this game some more. And um, I'm, cla I'm, I'm actually glad it did um, because I, I am missing out on this game because it does have a lot of cool stuff in it that Dice Warrior games don't have. So here we go on our first, uh, what is it? boss or warrior battle 
I don't know what to call these guys in this game. Are they officers or I just call them warriors because that's what they really are. Um, so I'm gonna say this is the first warrior battle of this stage, and the, I I guess the the captain or the leader of this stage is Kinshin. If I pronounce his name right, I suck at Chinese and Japanese names, obviously. My Dynasty Warriors games because people keep complaining I'm saying the names wrong. Well, that's just something you're gonna have to get used to because I always say them wrong. I'm not good at Chinese names. What can you expect? I'm an American. I'm not supposed to pronounce the words. But, uh. The thing I like about this game um, is not just the characters. Okay? Uh, the, the main thing I like about the game is. The what is it called? Uh, weapon clash. You won't see it here, but you will see it later on in this gameplay. Right now we're just going berserk. Everyone's using their specials and just swinging weapons left and right. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, I will f I I will fight this guy again. But you'll see it once I fight him again. It's kind of like the, the Dynasty Warriors Deadlock weapon, but it, it's actually better than Deadlock weapon because in Dynasty Warrior games, you just lock your weapons with the other officer's weapon. But in this game, we're like swinging back and forth, um, trying to outstrength one another by swinging your weapons, which is so freaking epic. I like that. I wish Dynasty Warrior 7 could, you know, or Dynasty Warrior games can do that too, but they only do weapon locks, which um, it's just pretty basic. I mean, they, it's they've been doing that from what Dynasty Warriors 2. Uh, but yeah, I wish they could add more um, warrior-like clashes, like this game does. But it's whatever. I mean, it's not it's nothing that that big or desperate. But that's what makes this game more unique because it's actually like. Um, Sengoku Bazaar because they do this, those kind of things in the actual anime. And I'm not to fight the most wackiest character in this game. I don't know who this guy is. But he is always um, easy to kill. But for some reason, they make him a um, sub officer or some shit, but he's so weak. Like, one hit, he's dead. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Man, I love this game. It's it's so wacky, but it, it can be serious at the same time. That's what I love about this game. Oh boy. Shit's about to get real. And he just created Blizzard out of nowhere. Well, he can do that. I mean, that's... Is elemental, I would say. And where is this guy running off to? I fought him before, I have to fight him again. So. But yeah, if you guys don't know about this game, um, like I said before, it's just one of those games that will never ever be ported to the states I don't, for, I don't know, for odd reasons people say the game is not selling much in japan or etc 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 some shit like that i don't know why they're not gonna port this game everybody's been begging for this game to be ported to the states but it's not gonna happen um, unless capcom decides to become extremely desperate to the point where they'll start doing what we tell them to do um, <laughs> But uh, I, w I wish this game did come to the States because I will certainly buy it just for the English text because I will get to know what's going on. Right now, I don't even know what's going on in this game. I don't know what, I don't know what I'm fighting for uh, because everything is in Japanese, but I don't care. I mean, it's a hack and slash game. It's simple. Just run around and swing your weapon and kill things, okay? That's all you need to know in this game. <laughs> but, um, it needs to be... They need to make this game like, uh, One Piece, uh, Pirate Warriors, 
or they need to make it like Boys and Ratchet 3 where they had it. Basically, the game was undubbed, if you want to call it that way. And I love when you take these, uh, I don't know what they call these things, like shrine gates, where when you, when you take them out, there's just all these enemies running around, these troops are running around, and you just fucking go on a combo rage. I got a bizarre. It gives you more, uh, more money and I don't know, points, I guess. But yeah, this game is so cool. I don't, I just don't understand why I stopped playing this game. I should really do an LP of this if I knew what I was doing. Or, you know, I do have a translation guide towards the items in the menu screens, but that's about it. So we're gonna take out more shrine gates and try to get as many combo kills as as you can. I probably should take out that shrine gate first, but since I'm already, yeah, it's kind of too late now. I was gonna take I was I should have taken out the shrine gate first. That way there would be more people. The more people around you, the more combo you would get. So when you're swinging your weapon around constantly, you just say, you, you tend to tell yourself, fuck it, just kill everybody around you. But yeah, you can play this game on the Wii U, I mean, if you have the actual game, that is, that is, <clears throat> no comment on that. What do you mean, real game, that is? Alright, so I gotta fight this bozo again. I don't know why I picked um, the same character as my bodyguard. I, I forgot he was in this stage. So I'm really fighting his twin brother. Oh, this is the thing I was talking about. The, cla the weapon clash. You have to like mash the 8 button repeatedly to win or out. That thing is so epic. You couldn't really see anything because that stupid net was in the way. Now I'm just gonna screw him up with my special Bazaara, I should say. It's called Bazaara in this game. Not Maju. Not special. Bazaara. Man, this golden anchor is pretty beast. Gold weapons are beast in this weapon. Well, not, no, they're not. They're not that strong. Gold weapons are not that strong in this game. Unless you, like, stock your characters with nothing but attack power items. That's what I did, so. Cause I can't understand Japanese, so I just stock it with strength powers. This is just an unstoppable force. You must be out of your mind to fight someone with a giant anchor that's golden. And the guy's a pirate. So, I mean, you must be out of your mind trying to fight someone like that in that kind of caliber. It's like trying to fight a Gandhi with a giant anchor. He does remind me of a god because they, they are pretty similar in, in some ways. I mean, yeah, they're both pirate warriors. And their attitude is just unbelievable. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, you like that double giant weapon smacking. All in your face. All in your face. Man, it's yeah, it's been a while since I've uploaded any kind of hack and slash game on this channel. It's been a while since I even uploaded a video on this channel. It's because I focus on my main channel too much. And the crazy thing is, both of them are partner channels, and I'm focusing on one of them like it's the only partner channel, which is kind of like it's kind of bad, but it's you can't help it because you have I have more people on that channel than this one, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna set things right. I'm gonna start uploading with this channel too. So um, it's a good thing I picked up Warriors of Rising Three because most people um, like my Dynasty Warrior gameplays on this channel than my main channel. So that's probably the best advantage that this channel has right now. And I like playing hack and slash games. It's just that the people in my main channel don't really like it that much. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm getting the best of both worlds. And people on this channel like hack and slash games. Uh, the ones on my main channel do. So, that's why I upload them on this channel. Because you guys like them. Fever! Oh my gosh! I'm on a rampage. Can I beat him? Oh, snap! Bizarra! Can I beat Bizarra, guys? No, I can't. Damn it! Ah. Oh, well. As always next time. Huh. Alright, who should I... Who's next? Oh, I haven't got to her yet. I gotta take out one more... Shrine Gate. I don't know what to call those things. I swear I don't. If you know what they are, please comment and tell me what they are. They're they look like a shrine, and they're and they are probably gatekeepers or gate guardians. I don't know. I don't know what they are, but we need to take them down. I think it's a gatekeeper or some sort. Kind of like the ones in Dynasty Warriors. Except these guys don't even bring any reinforcements. They just stand there. The reinforcements come out and you defeat them. Which is kind of weird. Because they run, they just run around in circles. Like, you know, I don't get it. But, this, like I said, this game is wacky. And it's serious at the same time. So it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be understandable. It has its moments where it's wacky. Oh, we're about to fight somebody. Who is it? Oh my gosh! Seriously. Her boobs have to be freezing. I mean, I can imagine her nipples like being rock solid in this kind of weather right now. With, I mean, a skimpy outfit like that, I mean, come on. It's like being in a the frozen section where the milks are at. Oh my gosh. Weapon clash already? Oh my gosh, this is why I love this game. Oh I love that weapon clash. Honey, you are not gonna be in that kind of outfit. I'm sorry. Maybe in real life, but not in this video game. Okay. Yeah, I, I pretty much tore that ass up. Yes, I did. But not in a sexually way. <clears throat> Only in my dreams, but not in a sexually way. Not in, this, not in the video game. Uh oh, someone is pissed. This dude is always badass. He is like. I'm not gonna say he's the bad, he's the most badass character in uh, Sengoku Bazaar, but he is definitely one of them.
I think he's the fastest character in this game, though. If you equipped him with, um, if you equipped him with his, uh, what is it called? His seal? It makes him run even more faster or some shit like that, because I do have him equipped with that. So, yeah. I might actually use him next time. Let's see him. Uh, let's show you guys how fast this dude runs. You don't even need a horse. He's that damn quick. It's some, it's sometimes it's even hard to control him because he's so fast. He's like a Sonic with a sword. Let's <sighs> get these last, trying to get these last kills in. Try to fill up some bizarre points here. There are any more red boxes left over. No, that's blue. Blue always has money, gold in it. I think red boxes are the ones that will actually have like power ups and items and uh, bizarre. Let's go! Let's get this over with. 201, I know that's an unfair fight, but who cares? Man, he's just getting his ass stumped. Come on, you know you want to do the weapon clash with me. Oh, here we go. Weapon clash. Oh, shit, he almost beat me there. Yes. Man, I love that shit. Nice. Yes, sir. We whooped that ass. Man, why do you have to be such a badass in this game? Oh, man. That was pretty cool. See, that's why I love this game. I don't know why I stopped playing it. Wow, look at all these cool stuff I got. I don't really need all this stuff. I already have every single thing in this game, so it's no big deal. Leveled up to 23. I think I was 17. Was I 17? Yeah, I was 17. Then I leveled all the way to 23. That's pretty badass right there. Yeah. I don't know Japanese, but I know what that says. Do you want to save or overwrite or whatever? And I click yes. Let's see. I hate when it does that. When it repeats its music, it's trying to load. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. I know what's going to happen now. It's one of those, it's a special event. Uh, Special event battle. It gives you two options to go to the special event stages. This is one of them. I think this is the uh, Oichi stage. I don't know. 
Nobunaga stage or some shit. The other stage is that wacky. Um, I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like it's like the most bizarre stage in this game where you can get a lot of gold coins. There it is, right there. It's pretty weird. It's it's the weirdest stage in this game, but everybody says it's pretty common when it's um in the Sengoku Bazaar. But um, it's pretty hilarious to me. I've I've done this stage a bunch of times. And this is like the best place to grind gold. So um, if you're on the PS3 or playing us in the Wii and you're trying to get a lot of gold, this is the stage you need to go to. Seriously, you get a lot of gold from this stage. Well, guys, I hope you enjoy um, this cool gameplay. I haven't played this game in a long time. And I know I haven't posted any videos on this channel in a while. But um, hopefully this will be some light that I will actually start uploading on this channel now. Bringing this channel back to life. So once again, thank you for watching. And uh, subscribe, comment, rate, and just keep watching me.